so this is the done some work and this is my tutorial for using Photoshop. So just open up Photoshop there. Get a file open. So this is the file that you want to edit. So I'm just gonna pick these two that I found. So this is one of my favorite soccer players. And this is another one of my favorite soccer players playing for my favorite soccer team. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take one of my favorite soccer players, touch his head using this lasso tool. And so I'm gonna make him change the first. I'm gonna have to take his Else, it's just that it looks like it looks a bit too big. And um, you should know that this tutorial is very hard. I've spent some time uh, finding the right pictures that could be edited. So you might have to spend some time looking for the right files that are about the same size or similar size. I just took this player's uh, picture because he had a similar, you know, his head was just about as big and his skin color was a bit similar. Um, I had another player in mind but the skin color did not match and it was kind of weird. So you use a lasso select tool, delicately select the part you want. So as you can see here, I've just selected his head. Um, I zoomed in here. So and remember, just because I zoomed in, this is the original size and this is the zoomed in size. Just because it looks big over here does not mean that the size of the picture has changed. So I'm just gonna take this tool, this the lasso tool, lasso select, and there's the move tool. I just, I'm just going to select this, put it over here, and place it over here. Oops. And there. So as you can see, it's still a bit of a problem because this is much more bright than this. So you can kind of tell the difference. Um, you usually can. That's why you can use this blur tool to sort of blur out these layers. Over there, and uh, it out this one. Okay, just, just smooth out the sharp and rough edges that I've been here. So it's a different layer, and then the other layer, and start doing the same thing. Start blurring it out. Next thing you know, this looks fair, I think. So it really does. So anyway, um, no offense for me, you I took your head out. Sorry about that. Um, and here's what you get. You get, you don't necessarily have to do this with head. You can do it with pretty much anything. You can take someone's smile. You can just take someone's shirt. You can take someone else's body or whatever. You just change whatever you like. So, I mean, for example, uh, a couple of days ago, I took the silver, the head of the Silver Surfer from the Fantastic Four. If you watch the movie, you know what I'm talking about. And I took the head of Superman, and I just put Silver Surfer Surfer's head on Superman, and I used this tool right here. And I used this tool to just saturate it a bit. And I took 
Silver Surfer's head and put it on top of Superman's head to give Silver Surfer a new costume. So, that was just for playing around. So now this looks more closer or more natural than this, obviously, because this one, it's hard to tell the color difference. Uh, same with this. And this. Although this one's not as good as this. And then once you're done editing, just press file, save as, and I'm just gonna say it is because that's the chocolate player's name, this guy, Zozo. Anyway, and then you can change the format. For example, this is on Photoshop. I can change it to JPEG or TIFF or PNG or whatever. I'm going to just put it back to Photoshop. There it is. And this is the layers one. Um, as I said earlier, you can see these layers here. Let's get to this for a second. So these are the layers, you can change stuff, so if I click on this eye, you can't see this, but you can see the original layer. If I click on this eye, you can't see, so you can only see the head and not the background layer. So you can play around with the layers, you can just duplicate the layer. So, I mean, if you want to put something like um, a skull on someone's sunglasses or cross or something like that on someone's sunglasses on each side you can just take one, take one put it on one side uh, duplicate the layer and then put the same thing on the other side to get what you like so back to this save as save it as a jpeg and I'm gonna name this again And save. So uh, it shows all these things. Um, you can play around with this. I'm just gonna leave it as this is the default setting. I'm just gonna set it like that. Okay. And then just on Photoshop, if you want, if you want to, you can close it. I'm just gonna close it. And I'm gonna uh, cancel that. Because I want to keep the original file as, as it is, I don't want to change the file. So, as you can see, this this original file is still, uh, it's still as it is, it hasn't changed. So, if you want to reuse it, you, you can always do that. And that's the file that I just created. There. So as I said, you can do it with whatever you like, and that's how you use Photoshop. Thank you. So that was your tutorial for cut and paste on Photoshop. There will be another tutorial following this very soon on how to change the color of an image. Well, that's it. Thank you very much.